Hello there, it's uh, Jacob Alexander Roper. You might remember from a lot of uh, previous songs, like the one on Isolation or just other ones in general, that I've been trapped here in this room by an evil lady, too evil to name her name. Yeah. But she's not here right now, and I need to film this really, really fast so that I can escape free onlineflashlight.com. That's a bright and shiny dong. You can also just use your phone. Most phones have flashlights. Anyway, it's something that you can do online now, guys. On this webpage called Dollar Sign Trillion, an infographic displays companies, gross domestic products, debt, and more that are at least one trillion dollars. Now, the largest value is 127 trillion dollars, accounting for the wealthiest one percent of people, and the lowest is a mere <laughs> one trillion dollars for the worth of Apple. But let's keep in mind that a mere one trillion dollars is still quite a lot of money. And that being said, it's not always easy to imagine just how much money that is. So let's check out what does $1 trillion look like? On this page, we start off with a $100 bill, which is the largest US denomination in general circulation. We would all be happy to find one of these on the ground, but it's still not too impressive to look at. So let's look at 100 $100 bills or $10,000. Again, I'd be okay with the idea of this falling out of the sky into my lap, but I wanna be blown away. So let's keep going. Here we have a million dollars, which comes up to this guy's ankles. I don't know how tall this fake dude is, but that's a lot of money. Whoa, I spoke to soon look at a billion dollars wow don't forget these are 100 dollars bills okay Whew. are you ready for a trillion dollars here it is and this is the dude right there he looks very small that is a lot of money uh so donate to me uh speaking of a lot of money who bought all their christmas gifts wow that's fantastic, I haven't yet. But mainly it was just a transition into this Christmas game. Plume is an adventure game where you help Plume bring this letter to Santa Claus. Use WASD to walk around, space to jump and E to do whatever this move is. Go through doors and watch out for Santa's employees, and most of them are robots and security cameras, because, oh, I've been spotted, now I have to start again. Now you wanna try to collect all three keys before they get you. Once you're done navigating through this world, navigate through our world with Map Frappe. This website is kind of similar to a previous featured dong called the True Size Of, which allowed you to compare the actual sizes of China, the United States, and India to different regions of the world. And it's cool, but more limiting than Map Frappe is, which lets you outline a certain region yourself to compare to other parts of the world. On the left hand side we can outline an area like Utah for example. Now drag the map on the right hand side around to compare relative sizes. You'll notice it readjusting to maintain accuracy as you move the map around. Since countries tend to get distorted at the poles, appearing much larger than they really are, the outline of Utah becomes larger relative to these areas than it becomes relative to the areas closer to the equator. While we're on the topic of maps and well, geography, let's test how much you really know with GeoG.me. You can quiz yourself on all types of things and categories ranging from flags to, well, everything. Seriously, everything is an actual category. So let's just test everything. I'll try one for you now, but I don't want to give away all the answers, so I'll keep it brief. If you answer a question correctly, it'll give you the option to learn more about it by reading up here. A question will keep coming back if you fail to answer it correctly. At the end, you'll get a score, and down here on the homepage, it'll track your progress. Since you're progressing so quickly with all your knowledge of the world, you genius, let's head to this movie music quiz, which is one of my personal favorites. The basic premise of this game is to guess which movie the song is playing from. If you're a movie buff, then let's go to the hardest level. You can also choose to make it multiple choice, but if you feel super confident, then you can just type in the answer yourself. If you get them all wrong, that's fine, because you still get to listen to some classic movie soundtracks. I love this website. And that is some cool music, but what if I told you that you could make something even better? <laughs> well, I, I might be lying, but you can try it with word synth. Isn't it lovely? What's your favorite five word sentence? Leave it in the description below. Uh, mine is, Hannah, please stop hitting me. So I type it in here, then I press play. Then you can change up the voice, tempo, scale, and more to create a soothing listening experience like this. Stop hitting me, Hannah. Hannah, please stop hitting me. Hannah, please stop hitting me. I know it might be intimidating to hear such a masterpiece like that, and now you have to follow it up with your own, but don't drop the ball. No, I'm serious, don't drop the ball on Pass Me. This game isn't very forgiving because if you drop the ball once, well, you lose. So you click and hold and drag to aim. And if you want to collect a star, you have to do so while making sure one of the little guys can still catch the ball. But it is kind of nice because if you're frustrated, you basically like hit them in the head with the ball. Anyway, you can toss it up and catch it yourself though, because you are self-reliant and beautiful and strong and so many other compliments. And, oh, you know what? Actually, there's one more thing I want to leave you with. Before I, before I, I'm not gonna leave, I'm just gonna stay in this room forever until Hannah gets back with probably some 
blowtorches and chains and whips. Not like in a cool way, in like a not fun way. Anyway, uh, I was recently on the Corridor Cast, which is a very new podcast by Corridor Digital, who I love. They're one of my favorite channels on the planet. They're all very, very nice human beings. I was on their, uh, their podcast. It was the very first episode. So if you want to hear me talk about my life and my feelings about YouTube and creating, go check it out. It's a little over an hour. It's very fun. There'll be a link down here and a link right there. And also, there'll be links to dongs right below my torso. And in addition to that one quarter cast link, there'll be a link to a playlist of dongs. Hannah will figure it out. Or she'll beat me. <laughs> oh, okay. And as always. Thanks for watching.